Hmm. I guess we can buy the sale items. Probably gonna sell the spike, but. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> no, they're Barack. Okay, we need the high roll. We need the high roll. That's not a high roll. That's. We have done the opposite of high roll. How did we still win? Oh, wait. Oh, did they also miss? I missed their miss. Oh, they did also miss. Where are the views coming from in the category? Uh, a bunch of big streamers are playing it, and it just had a lot of discovery. Like, there's a ton of people playing it on Steam. I think yesterday it was peaking at, like, 17k concurrence. Nope, just like that. People are enjoying it. As far as I know, they haven't done any sponsored reach outs. It's all been organic. Garlic? Not garlic. Lock the banana. Meh. Yeah, the range of nerfs were a bit scuffed. The range of nerfs were a bit scuffed. But I guess this time it was less ranger nerfs and more reaper buffs with the new start. Like, Ranger hasn't gotten much worse, but... Reaper's early game is disgusting, to the point where it feels pretty bad to play Ranger. Should fix my coffin... The coffin bonus only applies to the items entirely. Yep, just need one space. Like a configuration like this ends up being pretty common to try to maximize coffin value. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Arrow's pretty good. I don't know what you mean. Aside from Arrow, you have like Bloodthorn comps, and that's kind of it. I feel like Reaper is kind of more linear than Ranger. Like, at least with Arrow, there's a bunch of different things you can do with Arrow. Reaper is just almost entirely fatigue. Very little else. Yeah. I guess the dagger got me. Punished for the pig. Oh, they're also on double mushroom. Oh, 
Oh, I think the consensus that the, like arrow is the only playable thing on Ranger, and it's probably the best thing in the game late. version yet. Yeah, the early game's rough. The early game's rough. Ranger's early as hell. Hmm. Someone say pandemonium? I've been enjoying the Pandemonium games. They've been going pretty well. <laughs> Strong pot? Not yet. Ow. I guess the flute starts giving luck, and then we start getting crit, yeah. Yeah. Long enough fight, this is a really big deal. Oh yeah, to explain the, the no strong health bot. When you just have the one potion, the only difference between regular health potion and the upgraded health potion is you get six more life. So if the health potion is triggering later in the fight, you'd rather have the regen from the start. Because that two regen could save you more than the six life difference. Also, having the start of fight regen can matter a lot if you're you want to be open to hungry blade comps as the game goes on. Make it now. We might just be selling this mana orb. I guess I'll sell pig. Maybe we're just done with the pig. so dumb. This is so early. It's always so early. I don't want to make this decision yet. Any of these could be correct. Like, if we get a Scythe, we want this. Or if we get, like, a Goobert with a, an Agaric, we want this. If we get Lightsaber, we probably want this. And then if we get our Broom, we would have wanted to take this. But you're just still open to everything. If one was on sale, would I buy it? Yeah, probably. It depends on the class. Like, moving the subclass up to 7 from 8 is a big buff to Ranger. Hexblade feels the safest. I feel like Hexblade is the one that is... Well, it's probably better than Vampirus. I'm pretty sure Struggles is the safest. Because even on this current board, if we take Struggles, we're probably favored into the Fatigue boards that we fight for the next couple rounds. 
Or I don't think that's true if we just take Hexblade. I don't think Chonks are an option here. I feel like it's a little late for the Chonks. Oh, I'm not even considering Fatigue as the comp to go for. It's just if we're in Death Scythe Poison, we need this to not lose to other Fatigue. You just need to be able to reflect their Reflect. It's a really silly dynamic. Like, even just playing regular Poison, if you don't take Struggles, then a quarter of your damage just gets reflected back at, uh, reflected back at you in the Fatigue Mirror. Or in the Reaper Mirror. What world do you take Hexblade? The world where we're offered a lightsaber in the next couple of shops. Comb is better for poison? This barely does anything with poison. You steal two life per poison tick. It's almost irrelevant. To start. Struggles in. Poison is all you have. That would be a reason to not take Lifter. The comb is not good with poison. Yeah, it's a good activator. It could like trigger Goober on two seconds. But I don't think that's a good reason to take it. Probably can't beat that. Uh, probably can beat that. Okay. Pandemonium better than Poison Goobert confirmed. I thought we were just getting solo killed by this. Turn one shovel forcing, then adding a pan. I haven't liked playing shovel on any class. It just has not felt as good as doing other stuff that you can do. good they can be they're nice for like bloodthorn to generate some regen get you some thorns uh, the built-in luck is nice for weapon comps as well <laughs> yeah you need a good amount of stamina to support pan plus shovel Yeah, I've bought just an empty deck a few times. It's been okay.
have to find a site soon. I don't know if I can lock this. I, I really need a scythe, but... Uh, I mean, this only works when they're on 35% or less life. If you get them to 35% life, it's usually they're dead in a couple seconds anyway. Safe. Oh. Well. That's everything we care about with it. I need space. These gloves are kind of bad. Can't really buy anything with them. <laughs> yep. Ranger early game is very scuffed. A uh, book? A book! Definitely very easy to lose a lot of MMR on Ranger. You don't need the food under pandemonium, you just need the pandemonium under the scythe. Thanks for the prime! Welcome, welcome, welcome. This was supposed to be moved over. Star food gives two X poison. Yes. 
just need the one star on the pandemonium and then all of the foods to be double poison. Great shoot this patch, yeah. Uh, same. I feel like every time there's a build of the week for Ranger, I'm convinced other stuff is just better. People really like running down their hard to roll for but powerful comps. I'm so much fatigue. Kaboom! I feel like so far the rolling penalty has mostly just made people not play comps that need to hit a bunch of specific pieces. But I don't know. Like, it's a lot harder to justify committing for an unhealing line when you can't roll hard for your mana orbs. That's big. Blades viable? I don't think so. Though I don't think there's ever been a patch where I said crossblades was viable, so. Maybe. Oh yeah, I guess it's it's also hard to roll for. Yeah, I guess crossblades got nerfed actually. It was already not great. Well, Dodging Rangers. We won the mirror! Oh my. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no 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 no. Pestilence worth picking up. Uh, you can buy it on sale. I wouldn't buy it not on sale. Poison Panda becoming meta? Maybe. It does seem like it farms the fatigues nowadays. Kind of a big deal. I mean, it could be the new Reaper board that beats other Reaper boards instead of fatigue. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's the best you're hoping for as a Reaper board. It's working as well as it is. Yeah, I think it's mostly just the the cooldown nerfs on the the crystals and struggles. Because we played this a bunch last week too, and it wasn't as consistent at beating Reaper. Like, it still could, but... This is like starting to feel like just a free farm. to sell. Eh, just float nine gold. What could go wrong? Okay, this is a very good setup. This might be enough health. It's also got good book timing. Uh, not good book timing. Very bad book timing. much fatigue. I don't know why there's even more fatigue this week than there was last week. People just really not want to deal with the ranger early game. Like, I don't blame them. I don't either, but... Still. Ugh. My last, like, eight fights have all been fatigue. for this. That early game on Ranger? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good. 
Does anything do anything? Just take another orb. Oh, let's do this slightly faster books. Hopefully they're not too fast. Who knows? No, a ranger! Also, a ranger with three holy armors. Hello? <laughs> okay. Okay. Three holy armors, three books. Yeah, how are you supposed to poison this? been sale shopping or they I mean they might have just bought them they have a bloodthorn it's giving them regen for their bloodthorn though also way more regen than they're able to cash out on which region do they have to the start of the fight 30 and then they get more from the potions too if they go against a Ripsaw? Uh, yeah. Probably? Probably. Ranger usually has... I guess they don't have strong stone skin. But, but the Ranger build is pretty easily able to deal with Ripsaws. It's the Reaper Bloodthorn board that loses to it every time. But on Ranger, you get to crit with a moderately chunky Bloodthorn, which is usually enough. And even more if you have like strong stone skin to get a nice bit of burst spikes. Messing around with cards. I have bought deck of cards and no other cards a couple times to fix my pan luck in the early game. <laughs> Every time that I've bought another card, I have regretted it. It just never fits on the board. But like two or three gold for two luck to bring your hand to 95% accuracy and make your shovel match up a bit better. Pretty nice. Not that you're usually losing to shovels anyway, but it can happen. Okay, well, 